Okay, now the second step of our 3D to 2D um, test drive. Uh, we're going to use the drawing view wizard to place orthogonal or isometric views of parts or subassemblies. And after we place uh, an initial view, we'll be able to add a uh, cutaway view, section view, or auxiliary view. These additional views are determined directly from the initial or orthogonal uh, drawing view. So the first thing that we want to do is to come over to uh, the drawing view wizard and it's going to bring up the select uh, the model and I'm going to change this to a part uh, document and then I'm just going to click in here and key in an F because we want to get to um, basically want to get the part called frame one so if we scroll over you'll see frame one and what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and click on the open button. Now the next thing it's going to do is bring up the drawing uh, view creation wizard. And this wizard just basically assists us in uh, setting up whether we want to place PMI model views, how we want to show our hidden lines and tangent edges. And at this point we can just take the default and go to the next tab. Here we can specify the drawing view orientation, the initial view, and we're going to pick on the uh, front view as our initial view, and then we'll hit the next button again. At this point, we can add additional views. Since we made this our initial view as a front, we're going to go with a top and a right view as well, and then we're going to click on the finish button, and you'll notice it attaches it to our cursor. You'll also notice on the ribbon bar it shows us the scale in which it's going to apply it. So I'm going to change this from 2 to 1 to 1 to 1. It kind of shrinks it down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click and you'll notice that it very quickly places those views. Now one of the cool things in Solid Edge uh, uh, drafting is that if you pick one of these views and start to move it, you'll notice how those views will stay in line. So we have full control over keeping uh, things in line. Another thing that I think is kind of neat is if I want to place additional views, I can go to the principal view, which allows me to identify any one of these views, and then pull off another view, a, a left view, a top view, bottom view. The cool thing is if I go off at an angle, I can place an isometric view very quickly. And then once that isometric view is placed, it's not really attached to the other drawings, so I can place it anywhere in the drawing. And I'm just going to place it over here on... Uh, the right side of the drawing. Now at that point uh, we're looking pretty good so what I think is a good uh, thing to do is to go ahead and click on the uh, save button and what it's going to do is going to bring up the save as dialog in the training folder and you notice that it gives it the name frame one because that's the part that's in the file so we'll go ahead and save our drawing at this point and then of course you want to make sure that your students have these same views placed uh, at that point, and this uh, this concludes step two.